This short video uploaded by Sabor Ahmed is a very heavily edited video of his discussion with Skydive Phil on evolution and in particular human chimp common ancestry. Naturally Sabor has edited the longer video into this to make it reflect better on him. I will link the original two hour video. Please watch that to see how clueless Sabor is in debating with Skydive Phil and how he ridiculously just repeats assumption of homology without making any coherent points. When it comes to human chimp ancestry, this is still based upon homology. Now homology is the assumption that similarities, whether at genetic or anatomical or biochemical level, are due to common ancestry. That is an assumption. A few moments later. You were saying that it was based on an assumption of homology, yeah? And that's false. That's not true at all. Okay? Okay. Let me let me tell so you. So human chimpanzee is not based on homology. It's not based on an assumption of homology. So it's based off of evidence. Sure. So, t so, okay? so tell me we don't, this. we don't start with the assumption We're of homology and then conclude homology. Okay. Of course not. Sabor's entire tactic is just to ignore the evidence for human chimp common ancestry and just repeat that it's an assumption of homology. Phil explained why homology is not an assumption but that it starts off as the hypothesis, which then, through evidence, becomes the most likely explanation. Phil presented evidence of pseudogenes, in particular the Nanog P8 pseudogene, which is the most recent pseudogene and originated exclusively in the human lineage after the human chimpanzee divergence. The Nanog gene and all pseudogenes except Nanog P8 are present at the expected chromosomal positions in humans and chimpanzees. This provides strong statistical support for common ancestry. Sabor provided no rebuttal to this. Another strong piece of evidence for human chimp common ancestry lies in endogenous retroviruses. Comparisons of human and chimp retroviruses show a strong statistical support for common ancestry. For the retroviruses to be inserted where they are by chance and not by a common ancestor would be of odds of 1 to 588 followed by 1418 zeros. Again, Sabor had no rebuttal to this. Please watch the excellent video by John Perry of the Stated Clearly channel that explains the role of endogenous retroviruses in demonstrating a common ancestor between humans and chimpanzees. I have linked this in the description.